It is the Martha Zoller Show. Now, this poll is being talked about on CNN. Okay, that's all you need to know. Anyway, um, I want to, Chad, I appreciate your calls, and I, I hear what you're saying, and I understand what you're saying. It seems to you, and it seems to me, that if you continue to break the law over and over again, you ought to have a responsibility. And I don't want to play gotcha with you to point out that the former president is going before the Supreme Court to argue for presidential immunity to criminal prosecution uh, because that's going to be a big decision. But basically, there is an understanding in American politics, and it has been adjudicated at all the way up to the Supreme Court level, that there is a certain level of immunity, which by definition means you are above the law. There is a certain level of immunity that you get because you're president of the United States. And I wasn't trying to play gotcha with you, but here's the thing that bothers me the most. And it is relating to illegal immigration. Here's what we've got here. We've got rape trees where every woman that comes across the border with a cartel is given birth control before she comes and she is raped and there are rape trees. I've seen them. Okay, I've seen a rape tree before. It's where they take the panties of the girls they've raped and put them in the tree. Okay, I've seen that in Fort Bliss when I was there in 2005. So this is not a new thing. This has been going on for a long time. It's just going on more prevalently today. So you've got women being raped. You've got human trafficking, which is sex trafficking and and labor trafficking. Okay, you've got fentanyl poisoning. And I'm not calling it overdoses because it's poisoning. Most of the cases of fentanyl deaths, which are over 100,000 now a year, that's more than gun violence. That's more than respiratory disease. That's more than just about anything else. 100,000. I call it poisoning because many people think they're taking something else that's been laced with fentanyl. They don't even know the fentanyl's in it. And they end up getting poisoned. So you've got fentanyl poisoning, you've got human trafficking, you've got women getting raped, you've got open borders, you've got lawlessness, you've got crimes happening here. Now you've got the president of the United States or the administration admitting that they flew their number, 380,000 people from Mexico to parts of the United States, bypassing the border altogether in order to get them to clear it out more quickly. That's been admitted. It's in the Daily Mail. It's in the Wall Street Journal. It's in the New York Times. So we have all these problems in the border today. They're compounded for the last three years. Joe Biden was a part of the Obama administration, which even though President Obama was not didn't talk about immigration very much, he was a very tough border enforcer. He also was called the deporter-in-chief. He also had crisis meetings in the White House, the West Wing, if they had more than 1,000 people a day crossing. So it was a crisis in the Obama administration if more than 1,000 people crossed. Joe Biden was in that administration. Maybe he didn't know what was going on. More and more, it looks like that was the case. So we've got that going on. Then you have Donald Trump come along. And they start printing these pictures of kids in cages, which we then find out were from the Obama administration. And to be fair, yes, it looked like, quote, kids in cages, but you're talking about housing people on the southern border, which back in those days, not that long ago, 10 years ago, back in those days, people mainly only crossed during the summer because it was too hard to cross during the winter and you had surges during the summer and it was hot. And so having an open air kind of detention center looked like cages. Okay, but it weren't act- wasn't actually cages. But then you have the Trump administration getting blamed for that. Then they get exposed that those pictures were actually from 2014, not from 2017, 18, 19, 20. And President Trump, and this is the saddest thing, or one of the saddest things. There's so many sad things when we talk about this is that Trump had gotten it down to where there were only 500 children, unaccompanied minors, that were in custody. The reason why these minors were separated from the adults they came with 
was because they could not verify that these children were actually related to these adults, and they suspected child sex trafficking. So they separated the children. Biden's doing it. Obama did it. Trump did it. They separated the children so they could try to find their actual family. They got down to where there was 500 children. I think there's 25,000 now that are in custody. They got down to where there were 500 children that they didn't have families for or that they had matched up to families but hadn't been picked up. Here's the saddest thing. They contacted those families. The families wouldn't take them back. The families didn't want them or didn't want them to come back to wherever it was they were. But these were children that were truly unwanted. But they had gotten down to roughly 500. Doesn't make it any harder or easier to deal with but they'd gotten down to about 500. You would think that a man who's supposed to be compassionate, but the truth about Joe Biden is he's a lousy father, he's a lousy husband, and he's not a very nice person. That is the truth about Joe Biden. And you can tell by the way he treats people that that is the truth. And you would think that when they got to the first month of 300,000 people crossing, that it would have been a big red flag. And that they would have said, okay, enough is enough. But he didn't do that. And I don't understand what his MO is. What is his reason for this? And I think it's just because he thinks they're all going to be Democrat voters. And, you know, and it just shows his lack of, of wanting the rule of law. But unfortunately, he's got presidential immunity. So you can't charge him for something like that. 